Many Colorado families have been swept up in a national health crisis, finding insulin at a price they can afford. Yeah, the cost is skyrocketing. Many families have to make painful choices to get the life-saving drug. Now Congress wants the government to step in. The Congressional Diabetes Caucus, which includes Colorado's Diana DeGette, released this report today. They found a patient's out-of-pocket insulin cost can exceed $300 per vial. And many people use at least two vials each month, putting annual cost of more than $7,000. Who can afford that, especially if you work at a lower-income job or are uninsured? Rick Sounder shows us the tough choices that some families are making. No. <laughs> the Bartons are a happy family, despite the stress of a chronic illness. Nine-year-old Eli has type 1 diabetes. I was so scared about my life, and then until I started, like, doing everything and, like, getting the hang of it, it started getting not so scary. Eli does do everything. He wears a high-tech monitor that tells him when his blood sugar level is low. I drink a juice and that will like shoot me up. Several times a day, he must inject himself with insulin. If he does not get that insulin, he will die. There's no question about it. There's no, it's a fact. The fact is that the price of that insulin has skyrocketed over the years. The fear of keeping my son alive is just so real. They are not alone. Others have turned to what can be described as a black market for insulin. On eBay, we found two vials for $600. On Facebook, half-price insulin pens. Some of it is for profit. Other posts offer trade of insulin brands. People will literally post a picture of what they have. Say, I have this box of um, needles that don't work with what I'm using anymore. They're still good. I'll trade them for a vial of Humalog insulin. In the good old days, the insulin cost was about $2 for 1,000 units. In his 40-year career, Dr. Satish Garg has seen the price of insulin go up to $500 a vial. He is the head of the adult diabetes program at the Barbara Davis Center in Aurora. There is greed in this, which is all the political system and what have you is really built in and it's very unfortunate. We found thousands of GoFundMe accounts started by people living with diabetes, many of them raising money just to buy insulin. In the case of Shane Patrick Boyle, he was collecting for insulin but died before he reached his goal. People wouldn't be turning to the black market if insulin was affordable. Heather changed her whole life, graduating from a job training program and getting a new higher paying job with better insurance, all so they could afford Eli's life-saving insulin. If I never even worried about it or never even did anything about it, I would probably die. So sad, but true. We asked the pharmaceutical companies why this vital drug has gotten so expensive. One told us their profit margin is changing due to health policy changes in the U.S. Another wanted us to know they try to help people when they have trouble affording the insulin. Jim, no, Karen? No excuse for this. We've got to figure this out. That's terrible. It right. is. Right, Rick, thank you.